Yo, what's going on? Let's pause that real quick. What's going on? This is Jay Hamster. You know, I'm just here to do a nice live recording video. Nice live recording video. We're gonna start that over. This is Jay Hamster starting a reaction video to another This Is Not A Podcast episode part two of the uh, Nick Cannon is already up or should be up at this point um but we're gonna react to this video because i do want to talk about this six nine stuff and i'm pretty sure there's other topics to get into as well but i wanted to get into this where me and culture are talking about the situation with gully boy um those two are great they got nice synergy together um uh i fuck with the podcast channel shout out to amir for noticing that i told you Reaction videos are coming, and I'm on, and I'm on it. So, without further ado, I've been talking too much. Let's uh get this reaction done. Like the niggas you named, hey boogie. Like you said, I ain't never. Can't yeah. nobody say bro, you heard anything? Never. As soon as we go to like the the Bronx or talking. I'm pretty sure like Pop Smoke is like God in New York type shit. Eight you know, yeah, yeah. niggas. Yeah, right. It's six nine, but wait, nigga, look. They switch up, they got a new thing in New York every fucking month down there. <laughs> I swear, bro. You guys excuse me, I'm just driving with the uh windows up. You know, I'm just trying to get to work. But I promise you're gonna hear me full in effect. If we're making the most noise, it's the king of New York, and they just embrace it. That nigga 6 9 got out of prison and had a whole bill for him. Like, for him to snitch and for him to do everything that he did, not to say that he, his snitching wasn't justified because he had to save himself or whatever. But that nigga King got out the pen, instantly got a fucking, you know what I'm saying, greeted with a fucking bill. Yeah, that nigga was back. going crazy when he came out. I was like, yep. Yeah. What was crazy about that? Like you said, he had a Billboard hit. He had a number one hit. Um, unfortunately, when the album came out, it didn't really uh, do all that much. But it was like the, the initial reaction. Once he came out and started doing what he was doing, it, 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 it got a lot of attention. I think people don't understand or they seem to mix that up. I think. Nigga, now, now, that, now, that nigga, now, now, that nigga numbers, I don't know who, what other rapper was doing that. That nigga was getting like, what, 300 million a video? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga has damn near, actually, let me, let me, let me, let me do the fucking uh, research. And, like, and, 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 and people would uh, argue even, oh, well, those numbers were paid for, blah, blah, blah. I mean, all rappers' numbers were paid for. We're not going to play that game now. All rappers have been doing this, botting their views. Like you said about A Boogie in the, uh, the previous video, where it's like, I don't know how he got those views and all those stuff if it's just dudes from New York. So, you know, if you're gonna say that about 6ix9ine, same applies with every artist out here. Say so, somebody like 6ix9ine, although I really don't fuck with him, but his numbers seem more legit to me because of his popularity. Yeah, just like the story around it. Yeah. Right. Like his numbers make sense because most of them know who 6 9 is. And I think that's the argument there. Um, that people don't really understand. Um, is that regardless of how you feel on the situation, point blank period, 6 9 was getting, those, getting that attention. Six nine, six nine got three hundred million views on his first song album in less than twenty four hours. That shit is insane. Three hundred million in less than a day. Yep. Did more than kill shot. <laughs> the air, bro, it's like and, 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 what? and before that, and before that, he broke the Instagram record for fucking uh, his live. He had two million most viewers in the live stream. I remember. That. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna say that it, it it wouldn't be nowhere near as many uh, views, but one person that could have like popped off had they dropped a song as soon as they got out is Bobby Schmur. For sure. Please let's have this conversation. Please let's have this conversation. 
I agree. That man, look, bro. Every, I have so niggas, many niggas, literally, niggas, literally been waiting for that nigga to come out on me. Yeah, bro. Me. Like I'm. You I'm see this nigga hang out with a million rappers, like bro, get in the studio. <laughs> For real. It's just kind of fucking disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you. It's kind of, it'll piss some people off because it's like, I mean, to be real with you, a nigga spent fucking, like, what, eight years, seven years in the pen? That nigga want to get out and enjoy life and readjust and shit. So the first thing he not about to, you know what I'm saying? He not about to get out and drop a, hey, my nigga, I, I, I've been sitting on this album in the pen, nigga. I, I, I leaked up, but, you know what I'm saying? It's murder, it's bitch. It's, it's murder, bitch. It's murder, bitch. It's murder, bitch. It's murder, bitch. It's and there's here's the argument here that many people have. Will six will Bobby Schmurda have a bigger career than uh six nine? And the way I look at it is more so he'll have more respect. So his career will have a little bit more longevity when it comes out. But if we're being a hundred percent honest, no one's going to care in a couple of years. The way this is looking, no one's going to care either. Because, like I said, it's all prison hype until you release a song. I think the only rapper who was able to go out of jail and actually, only two rappers who were able to go out of jail and keep their hype would be Tupac, Lil Wayne, and Boosie. They were the only rappers that got out of jail. Everyone was hype around them. You know, everything was hype around them. And then by the time, you know, they got the studio, they're, they were doing hella numbers. So, that's how I look at that. It was like, if he did, then it would have went crazy. Went crazy. It would've went crazy. But yeah, you're right about that culture. Like, yeah, that nigga got to get his, you know, get his mind right, real just. That's the smart thing. You know what I'm saying? It is. Thinking about it from his standpoint, oh my, I'll probably end up having to close on niggas. Imagine you just got out of jail after seven years, nigga bugging you about getting in the studio. <laughs> no, me. <laughs> that nigga, can I, can I smell I'm pretty sure they don't step to that nigga like that, though. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> I think him and his clique known for, like. Yeah, let them chill and, and, and enjoy themselves first. I, and I agree. Like sometimes you do need to relax, um, which I'm not saying it's his fault, but that's what happens when you are, you know, when you in that in that life in that realm. Like your expectations just skyrocket out of nowhere, you know. Dropping niggas and shit like this. So. Can I go see my family first? <laughs> oh, <me. laughs> because his the other, his other partner came on and was making music. What's his name? Oh. Rowdy Rebel. Uh, Fuck, I, I, um, Rod, yeah, Roddy, Roddy, Rebel. Yeah, yeah Roddy, 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 I'm like, y'all motherfuckers better get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all. That's fucked up, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, culture. Um, you're not wrong. However, they did the same thing 6 9 too. When he came out with Gooba, people were giving it mixed reviews. Uh, he was coming out with Troll. They're like, oh, it's not the same when without the, his guys and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it's not going to be the same with Bobby because... If it's one thing fans love, they love fuckery. And they love clout. And they love all the stuff that it comes with. So, you know, it would make sense to say that y'all that fans are being ungrateful. But at the same time, if we're keeping it 100%, you, you, you got to expect it at this point. Because fans are spoiled and entitled sometimes. They fucked up, but it's like it's like, bro, like, what did you, did you expect him to fucking change his style? Get out of prison, like, nigga, he's like, <laughs> like, this is like Tupac. 
you know what I'm saying, still being around. And you just gonna rap on the same style on different beats, clearly. Niggas ain't gotta switch their fucking style, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's still doing the same shit. Everybody's still doing the same shit. Why, why did they think Bobby Smurda was about to turn into the new 6 9 Shit, that's just crazy, bro. <laughs> They did that shit, man. They they, they made it filthy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I mean that's what well, so I was kids just are. saying. Like you know, like we like we been saying, give my nigga some breathing room, some time to like you know work on his craft or some shit. Like my nigga been locked up for like what eight nine years. Yeah. You ready for this? Like damn, my nigga probably went through hell in the fucking. Goddamn me! <laughs> like be patient, damn. The dude just got out of jail, and y'all worried about music. <laughs> it's like Frank Ocean. Niggas want Frank Ocean to drop a fucking album. And his brother, like, dead ass, was involved in a murder. Like, not a murder, but it was involved in an accident. And he, you know, his brother ended up passing away. And next you know, dude's like, when the album coming out? Like, bro, this dude just lost a whole family member. And y'all worried about when he released the music? Y'all fans of something else. I swear. <laughs> Damn. Damn. They ain't about that shit at all. Um, <laughs> and that's fucked up, bro. That's, that's kind of that's kind of like what we said about the YouTube shit, bro. I don't even give a fuck about this. They just want their videos. Right? They don't. <laughs> it's that instant gratification, and I think the problem is fans are like spoiled with consistency. The minute they 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 get one taste of consistency in music, all of a sudden. Where the album at? Where my music? Why you ain't dropping? Drop the album uh, and some nonsense like that. You know what I mean? They don't give a fuck about the rappers. They damn sure don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> I learned that shit a long time ago. Like, cause bro, I remember right? when um, when Kodak got out and motherfuckers was like, that nigga look like he on crack. Like that nigga just he he, he been in prison. What the fuck? <laughs> Not only he's been in prison, that man went through hell. From the media because of the Lauren London shit, which I'm still pissed off at Black Instagram and all them niggas that destroyed him. Um, BG Knockout, you not safe. Um, and then, not only that, you know, the dude was assaulted in jail by the guards. And, you know, he had to get transferred to another prison. I mean, first mistake, y'all, 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 y'all took Kodak out of the prison that he was initially in, put him in Kentucky. And then that bullshit happened. Y'all had to move him to another prison where he was treated a little better. It, it, it's fucking wild, man. Crashed out in that bitch. I'm like, man, niggas, man, fuck that nigga, crackhead ass. Like, man, y'all ain't shit, bro. God forbid y'all ever fucking go to prison or, you know, jail or no shit like that. Alright, man. <laughs> Me. It, uh, speaking of the 6 9 shit that you was talking about on stream, it's like, bro. Tell us niggas talking about oh I would have snitched had I been in that situation. I'm like, you should never be in that situation. Oh, me. <laughs> right. How hard is it to not be a criminal, nigga? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, Mary. That shit's tempting, especially if you need some money. That shit is tempting. Trust me. I'm at a point in my life where, you know, I'm just like, geez, someone hand me a brick because I, 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 I need something happening. I need something happening. Like you were mentioning, you know, earlier in, in, in one of my videos, in one, in one of my Instagram videos, where, you know, I was hot and I was sweating looking around. You know, it's like, I'm trying to get my AC fixed. You know how much it costs to get your AC fixed? On a freaking car, man? I, I ain't got it. Man, someone had me a brick or something, a bag. I'll start slinging that shit tomorrow. And then when I get caught, yeah, I'm gonna snitch on some niggas. I'll die, but you know, shit. And that's why I never <laughs> can defend that nigga, bro, because you put yourself in a situation where you had to do that. And then you was then you joined a gang where you had to abide by certain rules. But you didn't decide to abide by them rules. You decided to do the opposite of that. Which is what the gangs vilify. It's snitching. So nigga, you are a snitch. <laughs> One thing I can say though, I'm very surprised that nigga six nine is even still alive. To be honest with you, me too. Nah, I thought somebody was. No, because the minute something happens to six nine, they're going to know who did it. Period. They will get to the bottom of it. They will find out who's responsible. 
Nobody's willing to risk their freedom for Daniel Hernandez. Maybe some low life guy who'll probably do it, <coughs> but it'll stand there. The minute any rapper starts to orchestrate something, FBI is going to be on it and they're going to be on it like that. 6ix9ine is signed to 10K Projects, his label, and they're going to, they're, since they're the ones funding his security and funding everything he's, do, he's doing, they're, they're going to find out. They're, they're, they're going to, and they're going to be on niggas' asses. So, yeah, of course, nothing's going to happen to him. Got his ass by that. I did too, bro. Six, I nine didn't, is like, honestly, I didn't. I didn't think he was gonna come out in like when he first came out. I was like, that nigga ain't finna make no music about dumping on niggas no more. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Bro, I was like, wow. At this point, why not? It's an act. It's 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 a WWE script, you know? It's a storyline at this point. We know now. I mean, are we gonna believe him? Of course we're not gonna believe him. But he's gonna keep doing it. Why? Because he can. That, 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 that's, 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 there's nothing else he can do. He can still do all this shit. And sure, he's a snitch, but like they said, if something happens to him, they're gonna know. They're gonna find out. You never know what to expect with that nigga. Go ahead, Coach. You said six nine, bro. (laughs) I I love you, forgot. I kept on trying to say it. But, um, uh, (laughs) um, 6 9 is a fucking walking advertisement, bro. Y'all don't understand. That nigga can... That nigga is, is not doing shit right now, but the second he gets on Instagram or Twitter or says anything, it's gonna get fucking shared by all the media outlets. That's the that's, that's what this nigga alive to media outlet. Fucking 6... Whether he's doing the interview with academics, whether he's um, doing a clubhouse meeting, the minute any rapper gets involved... Bam! Headlines. Only thing is, I hope 6 9 is capitalizing and getting any... I hope he's getting some kind of money out of this. Because let me find out that these outlets are getting money and he's not. Man, I swear. I can beef with fucking... The, a nigga with absolutely... You think of a rapper that has absolutely no clout. And 6 9 can get into a beef with that nigga. And that, that, that other rapper... His life is mean, nigga. Six nine. None of their niggas. I'm probably not saying it's probably you know, a lot of niggas that disagree with us in the comment section. I'm sure. Uh, go figure. It's me saying this. So, um, six nine has to go down as a legend of rap. He he has to. He's got to. It's a bit of a reach. I'm not gonna say he's not. What I will say is, if he does come down as a legend, it's gonna be known in infamy. Like, he will be remembered for all the wrong reasons. So, he, he's definitely infamous. I, I, I'll, I'll give you that. Um, known for his antics, the name alone, you know, is something to remember. He has to. Just, it's not because of the rap. But sometimes you could be a, a legendary figure, a legendary, an idol of some sort. There has not, there has not been a fucking villain like Boosie, quite like Six Nine in the fucking rap game. You can't even compare this nigga to a lot of other people. This nigga has stepped on so many fucking toes, so many toes. Got a two million dollar fucking uh, security team watching his back. Ooh, and you would think that brings up a good question. I know. Well, he- actually, um, from what I understand, he fired his security. That's what Six Nine said. He fired his security. I'm from so let me let me ask you this. So, are you pretty much saying that somebody being one of a kind automatically makes them a legend? Then that, yeah, for sure. Um, because, in a sense, shit, you can't compare Soldier Boy to a lot of other people, and that's I why agree. He's, with I agree, bro. Yeah, because I know like, where you're coming from. I agree. With that. Like you said, like you can't compare that niggas. You know, him being the most hated to nobody else in the rap game. I was literally trying to think, but. There's literally nobody. <laughs> yeah, well, like, now, he's the, one of a kind for sure. Yeah, the, for sure, for sure. The closest one I could say, I mean, people couldn't stand a little pump either, but it's different. See, they both get off on the same way. I was even gonna be, say like the same clown posse because them niggas are hated, but not like that niggas, not like season nine. 
Yeah, yeah six nine. Yeah, six nine. He and, and to be real with you, shit. The way six nine gets down, the the rap game almost needs a nigga like him because if you think about, bro, everything fucking, happens for a reason. Go today for the drag you. But I wouldn't say to me, it, me, my thoughts on that. I wouldn't say they need him, but he's definitely. He, 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 we definitely haven't had someone like him. I don't think at all, or if anything, in a long time. In a long time, so you're not wrong on that for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro! Think of all the beefs that Six Nine has been in. It's been entertained. Like that's all Six Nine is to me. He's not a rapper. He's an entertainer. Right. Most people right, don't that know that. shit was very entertaining. I ain't gonna Hell yeah, bro. Because th- them <laughs> niggas not gonna fucking fight. Them niggas not. Neil Clown, bitch ass, ain't about to fight nobody. <laughs> fucking punk, punk ass, bro. He, he had all that time. He could have fought fucking Safari, when, when, you know what I'm saying? When he was trying to fuck his bitch, man. I'm going uh, I'm, uh, I'm to leave it there. I'm going to start it over in the next part. Hopefully, this phone doesn't overheat to where I lose files. Otherwise, I'll start from the beginning. But it's 10 minutes here. We're going to stop it right here. And we will continue with the next part once I get off of work. With that being said, hopefully this goes through. This is Jay Hamster. I'll see you in the next one.